Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed pride in Team Bahrain's efforts led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the success of Ashura commemoration, which will remain one of the most prominent pillars of religious freedom and sectarian pluralism that Bahrain has enjoyed throughout the years. His Majesty added that this year's commemoration of Ashura was marked by the highest levels of discipline and organization, confirming Bahrain's spaciousness as an open and a genuine society on the land of brotherhood and peace for the interest of all. His Majesty the King praised the unremitting and integrated efforts made by the government agencies, mainly the Interior Ministry and Jafari Endowments Council, to commemorate Ashura. His Majesty hailed the provision of all security and community services and the care and follow-up necessary for rituals to ensure their free and comfortable practice. He commended the awareness and national responsibility shown by all during the rituals. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued dual decree number 41 of 2022 endorsing the Kingdom's accession to the Statute of the Industrial Partnership for Sustainable Economic Development, signed on June 3, 2022. His Majesty also issued dual decree number 42 of 2022 amending some provisions of royal decree by law number 83 of 2020 on restructuring the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regularity Authority, the LMRA. According to the decree, the phrase Labour Minister shall replace the phrase Labour and Social Development Minister whenever it appears in World Decree No. 83 of 2020 on restructuring the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regularity Authority. Under the decree, Fatma Abdel Ghani Ismail shall be appointed as member of the Board of Directors of LMRA instead of Maha Abdel Hamid Mufiz until the end of the term of the current board. His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Municipalities and Agricultural Affairs Wael bin Nasr Al Mubarak, the Minister of Health Dr. Jalila bin Al Sayyid Jawad Hassan, the Minister of Justice Islamic Affairs and Endowments Nawaf bin Muhammad Al Maouda, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, the Chief of Public Security Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan, and the Chairman of the Jafari Endowments Council Yusuf. Bin Salah Salah at Trafar Palace following the conclusion of Ashura. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted Bahrain's strong social fabric making the country a haven of diverse religious practices and faiths. His Royal Highness noted that the Kingdom's respect for all faiths is an indication of Bahrain's commitment as a model society that embodies the far-reaching aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He commended the effort of the Ministry of Interior and various government agencies and their active roles in accommodating needs during Ashura. His Royal Highness also expressed thanks to the Jafari Endowments Council, the General Authority of Husseini Processions and the Heads of Matams and Husseinias for their joint cooperation and commitment to facilitating Ashura. For their part, the ministers and senior officials expressed thanks for His Royal Highness's commitment to supporting necessary measures taken to meet citizens' needs during Ashura. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Vice President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa at Trafa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of the Kingdom's judiciary in further strengthening fairness as a major pillar for safeguarding rights and achieving the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted the importance of continuing to advance the Kingdom's judiciary by adopting wide-ranging initiatives that improve the efficiency of procedures aligned with the Kingdom's development goals. His Royal Highness congratulated Sheikh Khalid on his appointment as the Vice President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, wishing him success in his role. His Royal Highness noted the important role of the Supreme Judicial Council in strengthening the rule of law and protecting rights and freedoms, which are fundamental commitments to upholding judicial integrity. 
His Royal Highness commended the constructive cooperation between the executive, legislative and judicial authorities and noted the importance of building on their ongoing successes which serve as a bedrock for the kingdom's advancement and development in line with the visions of His Majesty the King. For his part, Sheikh Khalid expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's continued support of the Kingdom's judiciary, which is central to Bahrain's ongoing development. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki, also attended the meeting. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, hailed the success of the Ashura season and the results of official and civil efforts in highlighting the civilized image of the kingdom. She referred to the statements made by His Majesty the King on the occasion of the success of the Ashura season, commending its content which represents a permanent reference to the nation's march in bolstering peace, brotherhood and coexistence for all the interests of all. Zainal praised the national efforts of Team Bahrain under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the active role played by state institutions and integrated efforts which achieved the royal visions in securing ritual practices. She lauded the official efforts of the main ministries and state institutions that contributed to enhancing awareness and national responsibility towards society. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh issued a statement on the success of Ashura commemoration ceremony in which he affirmed that the kingdom is a shining example of respect for religions and sectarian pluralism and the preservation of freedom of belief, ritual and religious grouping. As Saleh noted that Bahrain is proceeding according to a firm approach based on solid foundations and humanitarian principles under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The chairman expressed great pride, great pride and in the royal patronage of His Majesty the King and his generous and continuous support for religious rights which ensure the preservation and protection of the revival of the various religious occasions witnessed by the kingdom throughout the year. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Wael bin Nasser Limbarak, visited the National Center for Agricultural Laboratories in Hurat Ali. The minister stressed the importance of the center, which is considered one of the key pillars of the food industry and its safety, noting that the ministry is currently working on promoting national caters to advance the lab work according to the highest international standards. Al Mubarak affirmed that the center will contribute to diagnosing diseases, whether agricultural or animal, ensuring the effectiveness of immunization programs, conducting scientific research and field and laboratory studies, in addition to cooperating with international institutions to exchange experiences and knowledge in this field. He said that agricultural labs will work to provide the best services to farmers and breeders and to find appropriate solutions to ensure the safety of their products and improve their quality. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired a virtual meeting for senior officials at Asia Cooperation Dialogue (ACD) to address topics and documents in preparation for the 18th ACD ministerial meeting. The Under Secretary for Political Affairs underlined Bahrain's chairmanship of the ACD for the period 2021 to 22 under the theme "Post-Pandemic Sustainable." recovery. He further stressed the Kingdom's commitment to the ACD's objectives and values which are based on building strengths and diverse capabilities in Asia, noting that Bahrain is a founding member of the ACD since its establishment. The latest statistics issued by the Information and E-Government Authority show that the number of visitors and arrivals to Bahrain in the second quarter of 2022 has increased by 38% compared with the first quarter. The Ministry of Tourism noted that the tourist recovery rate reached 82% compared to the pre-pandemic period 
specifically in the second quarter of 2019. The Minister of Tourism, Minister Fatma al Sayrafi, said that the encouraging results reflect the fruitful efforts of promoting the Bahraini tourism sector regionally and internationally through its participation in many external activities. The first voluntary vaccination of anti-monkeypox virus began today in Citra Mall from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and will be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. Early last week, the Ministry of Health announced the opening of pre-registration for the optional monkeypox vaccination as part of proactive and precautionary measures to address the virus. The average value of the housing units affiliated with the Mazaya program for social housing at the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning amounted to around 110,000 dinars in July 2022, compared to an average price of 112,000 dinars in June 2022, where the percentage of decrease was around 2,000 dinars in one month. According to official figures issued by the Ministry, the number of beneficiaries of the housing service reached 150 beneficiaries of the Mazaya program compared to 84 persons in June 2022 while the total beneficiaries of the program increased by the end of last month to 10,804 persons. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce, in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, continued to intensify inspection campaigns on shops and commercial establishments in continuation of the efforts made since the establishment and implementation of the law to amend the VAT rate in the beginning of 2022. The Ministry inspected 91 shops and commercial establishments to review the compliance with the application of VAT at its modified basic rate and to raise awareness of the mechanism to be followed. 38 violations were detected which require the imposition of administrative fines that may amount to 10,000 Bahraini dinars in addition to some cases that may be considered as cases of VAT evasion and accordingly the NPR is in the process of taking legal procedures against these establishments. And the National Space Science Agency, NSSA, held a meeting with the European Space Agency, ESA, and discussed joint cooperation. NSSA CEO, Dr. Mohamed al -Asiri, chaired the Bahraini side in the meeting while ESA was represented by the heads of the main sectors who gave presentations on all current and future projects. The meeting included a detailed explanation of NSSA's activities, projects and most prominent achievements in addition to the European Space Programme and its most prominent sections and achievements. The meeting concluded by identifying the possible opportunities for cooperation between the two parties.